And here is the Writer's Almanac for Saturday, the 7th of September, 2019. It's the birthday of Buddy Holly, born in Lubbock, Texas, 1936. He was 19 when he signed a contract with Decca Records. He and three friends formed a band called The Crickets. He died February 1959 in a plane crash, and soon after, an English band that admired The Crickets decided to call themselves The Beatles. It's the birthday of Queen Elizabeth I of England, born Greenwich, England, 1533, became queen 1558, and reigned until 1603. It's the birthday of the poet Isabella Gardner, born Newton, Massachusetts, 1915. Her collected poems came out in 1990. It's the birthday of the poet Edith Sitwell, born Scarborough, England, 1887. Her parents, Sir George and Lady Ida, baffled by their daughter. The mother was a great beauty. The daughter was not. She was rather tall and thin with a curved spine and a hooked nose. Her parents forced her to wear an iron brace on her back, a contraption on her nose in an attempt to make her more attractive. She was a bright and curious little girl, but her father was opposed to formal education for women. He thought it made them less womanly, so he wouldn't let her go to school. And she left her family on bad terms, Edith Sitwell, who went ahead to make her own life as a modernist poet and a public personality in Britain. She wrote many books of poems and put herself forward as a colorful personality. She wore enormous rings, turbans, old-fashioned gowns. She was a friend of Eliot and Graham Greene. She championed Dylan Thomas's poetry. She was a friend of Marilyn Monroe. And her best-known work was Facade, a series of poems set to music by Sir William Walton. The first London performance of Facade did not go so well. There was an old woman in the audience who waited outside, afterwards hoping to hit Sitwell with an umbrella. Noel Coward walked out on it. Virginia Woolf didn't much care for it. Edith Sitwell said, I am an unpopular electric eel in a pool of catfish. It's the birthday of writer Margaret Landon, born in Summers, Wisconsin, 1903. When she was 23, she and her husband went off to be missionaries in Thailand. She ran a school there. She raised her three children. And while she was there, she came across a book by a woman named Anna Leon Owens, a Welsh governess who had tutored the King of Siam's many wives and children back in the 1860s. Margaret Landon wrote a novel based on it called Anna and the King of Siam, which was a bestseller and became the basis for the Rodgers and Hammerstein musical The King and I. Here's a poem for today by Sherry Wagner. The farm wife turns off the TV evangelist. The Jesus I grew up with likes to be outside. If he's not fishing, he's picking figs or showing his mustard crop. He prefers dusty roads, the common sparrow, and lilies of the field. When he knocks on your door holding a lantern, you know it's time to buckle on overshoes and go with him to feed the sheep. But this preacher, who looks straight into the camera and claims he knows Jesus, says what he wants is for me to believe in him so he can come inside. That sounds shifty to me, like a wolf with his paws dipped in flour. Jesus, who heals the blind, said, We will know a tree by its fruit. Poem by Sherry Wagner, The Farm Wife Turns Off the TV Evangelist, from her collection The Farm Wife's Almanac, published by Dream Seeker Books and used by permission here on The Writer's Almanac. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.